Many African countries have been hit hard by the global pandemics like COVID-19. And Africa's economy is crumbling. Zambia, a landlocked country in Southern Africa, has been hit the worst as most businesses are failing to meet daily demands, of which is being attributed to economical constraints brought by poor government policies. And this is the voice of the people. <laughs> government <laughs> But the fact remains the same that Nangu to change to change government. What is that to change? Even the government which are going to come, whoever is going to be our next president, he will never control the economy of this nation. The fact remains the same that the economy of this nation has been destroyed. Between April 2019 and April 2020, Zambia's annual inflation rate rose to 15.7% from 14% in March 2020. The rise of prices in food and other non-food items led to the increase in the annual inflation rate. At Nankamba store, shelves are empty and her business is almost collapsing. When the pandemic first broke out, we had to close because yes, the risks were too high. So during that period, we were not making any money, and so we ran out of capital. And when we opened, the capital was limited, so we just had to get a few things so that we can start the business. Zambia's floating exchange rate and open capital markets have provided useful discipline for the government, while at the same time allowing continued diversification of Zambia's export sector and procurements of inputs for growing businesses. Kabunda, an executive dean at Oak University, Zambia, explains Zambia's economic recovery. The economy has been very, very hard for most of the Zambian businesses uh, in the past few months, especially beginning when uh, we had the lockdown in most of the Western countries, which uh, saw a lot of supplies being uh, cut off from uh, African countries, especially most of the countries which depend on uh, imports. Um, you have seen what has happened. We, we do not have most goods in our, in our shops. This has led to, to, to the rise of inflation that we are currently seeing in our, in our country because um, most of the things are not coming from our suppliers in Western countries, from China and, and the like. So definitely we have felt the, the impact of this coronavirus pandemic and on a larger scale we have now seen it translate into the hardships that we are currently seeing in our economy. I pray, first of all, I pray that we do not continue on this path for the next five years because if we continue on this path, we are going to experience a lot of difficulties. It is going to be hard for you and me to have our usual bread and butter. It's going to be hard for us to, to have our three times meals in a day. Um, if we continue on this path, because already we have seen our, our, our inflation, which is uh, uh, almost at 22%, um, we have seen our foreign exchange, the way our local currency has uh, devalued mm. in a space of uh, about four to five months, it has lost by over 40%. Mm. If we continue on this path, all these things will just go waste. All these things will just move from the frying pan into the fire. Mm. So, we really need to have a turnaround and this is uh, turning around from the direction where we are going we do a 180 degrees turn around to the other side and see if we can just realign our 
our our industries realign our policies realign our priorities as a country where we are spending money where we need to improve where we we, we need to um, put in in terms of um, um, uh, the real investment that uh, the country that the country needs because if we continue being an import oriented country an import oriented continent um, the next five years will continue to only be tougher things are tough now but the next five years i can tell you things we won't even be smiling like we are smiling this time one thing i still believe in is that opportunities are still there in our in our economy there's still huge opportunity to do business um, it might be hard for the small scale businesses, for, for our friends who are selling uh, in the markets, mm -hmm. uh, who are selling in the streets, it might be hard, but opportunities are still there. Mm -hmm. um, one good thing, one good, the good news is that people will not stop buying. We still need basic needs. Mm -hmm. You and me still need water. You and me still need soap, you and me still need uh, clothing. We might not just need them in the quantities that uh, we used to uh, have them maybe two, three, four years ago, but we still don't need those things. So the opportunity for the businesses is still there. And not only that, um, I think it's time for the SMEs to look at uh, diversifying also in, in the little things that they do. How best do they diversify their business? How best do they make it responsive to the current uh, situation? And um, I think it's also not a bad idea to add technology to it. Uh, this is the time to look at what kinds of technologies can enhance the, the profits, <coughs> what kinds of technologies can reduce the expenses so that uh, they can ride on that and uh, grow their customer base there by increasing their incomes that, that they are generating. Africa need to formulate and implement an economic recession in order to be at par with Western countries. For Africa Equity Media, I am Kenishes Mushiwe in Lusaka, Zambia.